welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll share with you vegan meals that are rich in iron. Iron levels are really important on a vegan diet and also on a non-vegan diet. I'll link an article that's really helpful down below by Dr. Greger that explains everything that you need to know about iron on a vegan diet. But before we get started, I just want to say that I make videos every single Monday about recipes and veganism. So if you want to see more, then don't forget to subscribe. Before I show you the recipes, I'm just going to list some foods that are really high in iron. We have tofu, nuts and seeds, beans, edamames, leafy greens, broccoli, asparagus, grains like quinoa, oatmeal, tomato paste and tomato sauce, potatoes, dark chocolate and dried fruit. These are all really good sources of iron that you can get on a vegan diet. Also don't forget that vitamin C increases the absorption of iron so it's really good to have a source of vitamin C with every meal if you want to increase your iron levels. So a good example of that would be to add some lemon juice on your broccoli or on your asparagus. Also add some lemon juice to your salads like kale salads, leafy green salads, but I'll show you just that in the recipes. And now let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Let's start with this barbecue chickpea Buddha bowl. You will need potatoes, a cup of quinoa, chickpeas, broccoli, spinach, tahini, and cashews. In a pan lined with silicone tray, add your potatoes and your broccoli. I do recommend that you add your broccoli after because the potatoes are going to take much longer to cook. Then you want to drizzle them with some olive oil and add them to the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Leave the broccoli in for about 20 minutes and the potatoes for about 45 minutes. In the meantime, we're going to prepare our barbecue chickpeas. Add your chickpeas to a pan to let them cook in some olive oil. Then you want to add your spices. I'm adding some barbecue spices with some garlic spices. And then I let the chickpeas cook for about 15 minutes. Now you're ready to assemble your Buddha bowl. All of the ingredients that I used in this recipe are really high in iron. We have quinoa, potatoes, broccoli. We also have chickpeas, which are a really good source of iron. And I, of course, added some spinach for some leafy greens. And I added some cashews, which are also really rich in iron. Now I'll show you how I made this maple tahini sauce. In a small bowl, add two tablespoons of tahini, one tablespoon of maple syrup, and to help with the absorption of iron, add one tablespoon of lemon juice. Lemon juice contains a lot of vitamin C, which is essential to help with the absorption of iron. This Buddha bowl is packed with wholesome ingredients that are essential to boost your iron levels. This next meal is a broccoli and asparagus salad. For this, you need pasta, tomatoes, broccoli, asparagus, spinach, red onions, and hemp hearts. To a pan on medium heat, add a splash of water to cook your broccoli and your asparagus. I'm adding some lemon juice to bring out the flavor, but also to increase the vitamin C and the absorption of iron. After that's done, you just want to add everything to a bowl. Again, all of the ingredients that I used are really high in iron in this recipe. I have some whole wheat pasta, which is really high in iron. I have some greens. I have some asparagus with some broccoli and some lemon juice. For the dressing, I'm adding some balsamic vinegar. I'm also adding some hemp hearts, which are super high in iron, and that's also going to be a good source of protein for our salad. This salad is loaded with healthy sources of iron and vitamin C, and it will help to increase your iron levels. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more, click right here for more easy recipes. And also, don't forget to subscribe because I upload every single Monday. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!
buzzing, buzzing, and we're humming, humming, and we're loving, loving.